you think about the Hyperloop. Travel is an important part of everyday life, and one way of making people's lives better is by making it faster, safer, and more comfortable. However, even with the impressive development of high-speed rails, efficiency has been limited because of the difficulties in managing friction and air resistance. The Hyperloop is going to overcome these limitations. It's an entirely new high-speed transportation system, and the development of this technology is still in progress. It will change intercity travel in a huge way, considering that it's projected to reach a top speed of 1,220 kilometers per hour, or 760 miles per hour, which is close to supersonic speed. It sounds crazy, but for decades, innovators have been exploring different ideas that can make this possible. Our generation might be in luck. With recent tech advancements, you might one day get to experience the Hyperloop. The Hyperloop concept has specially designed pods that move through a steel tube maintained at a partial vacuum. The pods would need to move very fast through the tubes to maintain aerodynamic efficiency. Under Musk's model of the train, the Hyperloop will be powered by solar panels placed on the top of the tube. So what would a trip on this pod look like? When the pod starts its journey, it gets its initial velocity from an external electric motor, which accelerates it to high subsonic velocity. Every 70 miles, the high-speed electric motor will give the pod a small boost to keep the velocity stable. In between, the Hyperloop pod will simply be coasting along in a near vacuum without touching the ground. As a passenger, you will experience a maximum inertial acceleration that's going to be two to three times that of a commercial airliner on takeoff and landing. If you've been on a plane, you know about the intense forces you feel when doing a takeoff and landing. Let's hope there will be a way to ease that pressure on the Hyperloop so that passengers don't end up feeling uncomfortable. As you can see, a key element of the whole Hyperloop concept is to reduce friction. In Musk's original concept, each pod floats on a thin layer of air, similar to how pucks are levitated above an air hockey table. One major difference is that the pod, not the track, generates the air cushion in order to keep the tube as simple and as cheap as possible. Hyperloop also tries to reduce air resistance. Overcoming air resistance is one of the biggest factors of increasing energy efficiency in high-speed travel. We all love seeing the tops of clouds when flying high on an airliner, right? But the reason why airliners climb to such high altitudes is to travel through less dense air. At those high altitudes, they can travel at high speeds while burning less fuel, making them very efficient. So, the plan is to create a similar effect on the ground by sending the pod through a tube maintained at a partial vacuum. In 1829, there was a competition organized to challenge investors to create the fastest steam locomotive. The rocket steam engine won the competition and was used to usher in a completely new era of intercity travel. Elon Musk, possibly inspired by this history, organized a Hyperloop pod competition. The hope is that by making teams of engineers go head to head, the best design for the train will be found, bringing it closer to reality. Sponsored by SpaceX, the annual competition has run from 2015 to 2019. Student and non-student teams from all over the world would participate to design and build a prototype transport vehicle. It was an exciting idea that caught the attention of many young innovators. In the earlier stages of the competition, there were 115 teams and more than 1,000 applicants. Their task was to design a prototype pod which would later compete on a one-kilometer test track. The MIT Hyperloop team developed the first Hyperloop pod prototype in May 2016. However, another team stood out, the Technical University of Munich from Germany. 
they have been on a mission and have won the award for the fastest pod in every year of and Hyperloop 1 set a target to create the first Hyperloop system in the world between Pune and Mumbai. Another company exploring this idea is Hyperloop Transportation Technologies. Founded in 2013, it has more than 800 employees that include engineers and professionals located around the world. In 2017, Hyperloop TT announced and signed an agreement to build a track in India from Amaravathi to Vijayawada. Once this track is completed, the original travel time of one hour per trip will be reduced to just five minutes. In 2018, the company had agreements with China and Ukraine to develop and build a Hyperloop. Hyperloop TT is now beginning the process of integrating their full-scale passenger capsule for human trials. So, will the Hyperloop be a success? It's a huge, multi-billion dollar question that is still unanswered. There are well-funded companies racing to be the first to deliver a working service. All these projects are very much still in the pilot and experimental stages. What's true is that moving from short test routes to hundreds of kilometers of track is a big jump that none of these firms have made yet. But you also cannot deny that if they do make the jump, it will change how we view travel. We'll definitely keep an eye out to see who makes the first breakthrough. Would you like to travel with the Hyperloop? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button. Also, subscribe to Top Luxury for more videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.